Um, so the reason everyone is here today, I'm thinking, is because you love antiques and you love um, furniture. So what I thought that I would do um, is sort of talk to you about how I, as an appraiser, um, an auction house uh, professional, look at things when I walk into an antique store, when I go to an estate sale, when I do an appraisal, um, and sort of my methodology of, of how I do that. Um, now, there are some tools involved. Um, basically, a flashlight, most of the places you go, it's, uh, sometimes it's very hard to see. It can be a dark room, um, and, and a lot you see inside the piece, and you really need a light to be able to see that. Um, if any of you have traveled to um, the major auction houses in New York and attended an Americana exhibition, you will see these massive lights that the, these people walk in and, with, and you think, oh my god, what's going on here? And they're examining, they have it upside down, inside out, you know, they're really, really looking, because construction is so important. And so much can happen over a two to three hundred year period, um, and you really want to make sure that something is right, especially if there's a lot of money involved with it. Um, the next tool is a tape measure, um, you know, just handy to take along with you. There are certain elements that I'm going to explain to you as I go along that you can use that. And the most important is common sense. And, and that's really basically saying to yourself, okay, this is a chair, how was it used? This is a chest of drawers, how was it used? Well, what do people do with a chest? You pull out the drawers, where are the signs of wear that you would expect in two to three hundred years of use. And those are, it's, I'm going to say again and again, there are these common sense principles. Um, what's also very important, what I start with is my first impression. When I glance at something, I walk in the room and I see something, I think, are the proportions right? Um, does it look right to my eye? Is there something that I'm questioning? I, maybe I don't know why, but for some reason it looks off. But there are, certain, there are certain guidelines that you just need to go step by step using your common sense, really thinking about it, um, and talking to people. I find that most people who are interested in furniture love to talk about it. So, you know, establish a relationship with an antique dealer or an auction house professional. I love talking about it. People often think when they come to the gallery and look at an exhibition, oh, I don't want to bother her. But in fact, I love it. I mean, I, I love teaching people. I love talking about it. You know, the neat thing is, is um, you are an investigator, essentially. It's like being a detective, because no one was around. Nobody really knows what happened to this piece. And sometimes it's great, you know, having a couple people to bounce ideas off of and to really think about it and how it was used. So um, I, I have a series of um, questions and sort of things to think about as you go out and, and go somewhere to look at a piece of furniture um, that I have printed over here. And I also have four books that have been really helpful to me. Um, and I have examples of them up there, but I, I just wrote them out on the back of that. So please take one with you. Um, I think that they will be very helpful. And there's also a drawer there that you can kind of see construction methods. So thank you very much. <laughs> Amanda, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry we had a 